Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam and this is a Forest Pansy Redbud. This is the beautiful purple foliage, pink flowering Forest Pansy Redbud. Forest Pansy could eventually reach 20, maybe even 25 feet in height. It actually has a bigger issue, which is the width. As you can see from this plant, they can get 25 and even 30 feet in width over time, but some of that can be controlled. Forest pansy redbuds are hardy in zones five to nine. Forest pansy redbuds are not particularly fast growing. This tree right here is a little over 20 years old. It has reached now probably 20 feet or so in height. So it may have averaged you know, six inches of growth a year. It was probably six feet tall when it was planted. Sun and shade is a little tricky on forest pansy. Typically we say red buds need the shade. Typically they grow on the edge of a wooded space and need part shade. And that is true, but if you put forest pansy in too much shade, you start to lose the foliage color. So this thing does need some midday sun. And where I've got this thing, if you can see behind it, there's a very large tree on the other side of it. And so it, it's got a lot of sun on it till maybe two o'clock in the afternoon. And then the trees on the other side of it are shading it out after that. Forest pansy is an ornamental tree. It gets big enough to be a small shade tree, but the limbs tend to weep down. So it's difficult to create that type of canopy where you could use it as a shade tree. So it really is like almost grows as a large shrub and you need some room for it. It really doesn't fit a small lot very well. It will early on. You could probably keep it for 10 years under control on a small lot. But at some point, you know, this width and this height is just going to uh, become an issue in most places. So this is a plant that does need some space. The primary features on forest pansy redbud are number one, this beautiful purple foliage which is persistent all season. When it first comes out in the spring, it's definitely more purple than it is right now. I'm shooting this in early summer and it's got a bit of a green hue to a lot of the older leaves at this point. Before that, in the late winter and early spring, this thing gets absolutely covered on every single stem in tiny little pink flowers that are really, really beautiful. And then as you can see, this tree has an incredible arching habit. And I'd hate to see somebody try to put this in a very, very small lot and have to prune on it constantly because part of the appeal of this tree is this weeping mushroom kind of shaped canopy that it forms over time. I've included videos in the description of this video for planting woody trees and shrubs depending on your soil type. This is a plant that you're not gonna have many issues with, but one of the issues is root rot. When you plant this, you're definitely gonna want to make sure you're mounding it up some not overwatering it, not over mulching it, uh, and not creating it a space in which will hold a lot of water between rains. Red buds are reasonably drought tolerant once they're rooted in the ground. If you're in an area that gets average rainfall amounts, I've really never watered this tree. It's been in the ground for 20 years. Uh, we had an extreme drought years ago and I ignored it even during the extreme drought. So I don't think you're gonna have a big problem with it. The first year it's in the ground, you will keep a close eye on it. And if it needs water, drown the space around it and then let it dry out. The best coloration on this tree is in the newest leaves. The older leaves tend to fade to a greener color. So keeping it growing is a good idea. And any kind of slow release fertilizer in the late winter or early spring, anything that'll last three to four months is ideal on these. And that way it'll run out about midsummer and let the tree go to sleep on its own. Early on, you'll wanna do some pruning on your forest pansy redbud while it's small enough to really reach it. Uh, a little bit of tip pruning a couple times during the summer will create some additional branching and you'll end up with a big full canopy like this one has, not a very, very thin tree. You will have some dead branches on this in the interior of the plant over time. Uh, I've been limbing this one up for years now uh, and it even has some dead branches in here now that I need to get out. So there is some cleaning and maintenance on some old wood that is required. Red buds are vulnerable to a lot of pests. I've never had any on this plant. This plant gets plenty of air movement across it, but they can get spider mites and a lot of different chewing insects. A lot of those things can be alleviated by having it out in some open space like I have it here. They are susceptible to root rot. If you put this plant in a situation where it's gonna stay abnormally wet, especially when it's newly planted, you could end up with that issue. And deer will eat red buds. They like the tender new foliage on them. They don't tend to do a lot of damage to them, but they do eat off a lot of the newest foliage. So what are you waiting for? Even you can grow the low maintenance, beautiful purple foliaged forest pansy red bud. Thanks for watching my video. And if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about red buds. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.